how is language related to thought? Language expresses thought. If we, uh, w w our language is not like uh, birdsong, where it's basically uh, nonsense sounds designed for courtship or territorial displays. Our language is not like the uh, scat singing of jazz singers, where you go, you know, shooby dooby doo, and if we like the sound. Uh, uh, words mean something. They connect to thoughts, they connect to intentions. We have to have had the thoughts and intentions in the first place, otherwise we could never have learned language. Uh, kids learn language not by a kind of cryptography, just doing statistical associations between sounds like uh, the CIA when they try to intercept uh, uh, Al-Qaeda transmissions, but kids are situated in a world they interact with uh, other people using language. They take their best guess as to what the person is talking about, what they mean. They correlate that with the sounds coming out of uh, uh, other people's mouths, and that's how they crack the code of language. Uh, so to do that, they've got to be able to conceptualize the world prior to having language. And in fact, a lot of experiments on the mind of babies show that they, uh, that they do interpret the world around them well before they have language. They have a sense of who's causing what, what's the difference between a person and an object, um, that objects can exist when you don't look at them, they need to be supported, all that kind of stuff uh, occurs prior to language. So this is uh, the language of thought, as you put it, or conceptual semantics, right? Yes, conceptual structure. That is a set of concepts that are much more abstract and elementary than words. Notions like object, causation, intention, means to an end, end, uh, manner, place, path, uh, out of which the meanings of words are built and which <clears throat> uh, allow us to think even when we're not using language.